Look at everybody on there at home. I'm so happy to see you. Thanks for having me. It's and been, I'm, we pulled in the parking lot. We're like, gosh, it's been a while since we've been here. I so. know, I know. I'm so happy that to, to see you in person here. And uh, as I just said, I had COVID, you had COVID. You recently had it. How yes. bad did you have it? You know, I had like one or two days where it was, it was pretty bad. But then, I mean, I never lost my taste and smell. And, and then I got back rocking and, you know, had a little fatigue. But then, uh, heck, I'm... I'm back to normal. Good. I'm, I'm feeling glad. okay. I'm feeling glad you're okay. healthy. I know that you said you, uh, when you're sick, obviously, you're not drinking. Was that the longest you've <laughs> gone without a beer? That is definitely the longest stint mm -hmm. with, uh, without a beer. You know, oh. just beer in the afternoon, just, Look. Uh, oh, gosh. Thank you, Ellen. Yeah. You always yep. have the ability. Yep. Go well, Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. So is the, it's Eve, right? Yeah, it's Cinco de Mayo Eve. Yeah. All right, Ellen, just let me save her. All right. Enjoy it. I can still taste it. Oh, good. That's, it was a test to see if you, you could still taste it. I have it. the taste. Um, hey, let's talk about Idol. Um, I'm you know what? I'm hearing you're like... I, I'm loving it. Thank you. That means the world to us. I'm loving I mean, it. I think it's, it's so... You, you're, the group of people y'all have this year, the, 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 the chemistry between the three of you, it's just... It's, it's great. It's great. But everyone's upset because you brought people back from last season and the people from this season are going home. Why did y'all decide to do that? Well, first, what I'm learning about my position, it's a lot of people get upset either way. Yeah. And so anyway, but, but you know, it was interesting with bringing, you know, I, the show, I, I love the idea that, you know, these kids last year um, just never got a chance to be on the big show with all the lights and the cameras and the, uh, you know, to get the wardrobe and all that. So, um, yes, yeah, so we brought back, you know, we brought back last year's contestants. And then, like, after they did the, I guess they called it the comeback show, I mean, you know, I'm reading all this, I'm reading the chatter too, and I'm like, ooh, people are not liking this. Yeah. I mean, and, and then, you know, um, Arthur Gunn comes back and actually, I mean, he was a, he was a pretty big, big fan favorite last year and developed a big, obviously a big following. And then he comes back and now he's in our top seven. So then right. we're like, we're kind of validated that we, that we brought, brought some yeah. of them back. He's so. great. He's not taking uh, advantage of the wardrobe situation, but he <laughs> is, uh, he is super talented. Yeah. I think all of these kids in the top 10 that, that, some of them that get sent home or they have tons of promise. And, yeah. you know, I think us as judges, I mean, I think uh, we love just building these kids up no matter what levels they have to go home. It's, it's not fun, these rounds, when, when yeah. these kids we fall in love with go home. Well, like you said, I mean, there's a, there, I mean I'm, I'm probably going to have just every single one of them on that whenever they're voted <laughs> up because I love you, them all. Thank you for bringing Bean on. Yeah, I mean, of that is amazing that, I mean, when we hear of, fellow celebrity support. I mean, it just makes us feel good. Yeah. That, you know, we're putting out the good vibes yep. and, and making, making a great show. Have, you, it's, a, it's a great group of people. And uh, it's, it's great that they get advice from you, who is, uh, I, I think it's the Entertainer of the Year. Is ah. that your title, Entertainer of the Year? Like, I mean, they should be listening to you about what they should be doing on stage because that's a pretty, I mean, you took it away from, uh, what's this guy, the guy, the-, the Thomas the, Red. Yeah, that guy. You know, and I didn't even, I, now that I thought about it, you know, cause the ACMs got delayed a couple, you know, uh, they got delayed and then he wins and then he only gets like a half year. So I kind of, <laughs> you know, I just, fair. I get my full year. Yeah. I mean, what, you know, maybe I need to, you know, sit down with him and I'll grant him like, you know, 33 and a third or whatever. I can't do the math on it, but I'll grant him a couple extra months. All right, good. You know, I think come, he's here soon. I'll talk to him yeah, about it. Yeah, come clean my pool or something yeah. at the house. Oh, I'll let him have oh. two or three extra months of, of you know, walking around yeah. telling everybody I'm the If he cleans your pool. <laughs> um, we have to show this clip. Uh, this, this has like 30 million views on TikTok. It's, it's, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, pranks going on at your house, but this is uh, your wife and your friend uh, did this to you. That's not my friend. That's my nephew, hey. by the way. Hey. Check. I'll check the bar. Look at my outfit. How terrible. <laughs> 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 
I mean, that'll throw a man's back out. Yeah. That's, that, that'll slip a disc. I mean, she can fit in a tiny space. But what's funny now, I mean, she was in there for like a good 25, 30 minutes. Oh my God, that's way too long because, for her. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's, that's all we can do right now. We can't, with COVID. You know, she air horns me too. <laughs> oh, does she? <laughs> I, mean, right. I, I guess I got to take out an insurance policy on my hearing. <laughs> All right. Well, anything else in there? I don't know. Well, now you're breaking it. Now we can't use it again. Um, See, I should have right. picked up on all that. He wouldn't get in there just to hand me one beer. Well, That's he would. more shenanigans. He would. It is shenanigans. We like shenanigans. All right, more with Luke after this. You have a new documentary uh, behind the scenes right, and right. exploring a lot about uh, very personal things. What, first of all, I love it, but what made you want to do that? Well, you know, it was, I was in the kind of the evolution of artists that started hiring camera guys to come out and document stuff for weekly, um, you know, just weekly posts and stuff. And through that, my uh, director of the documentary, uh, Michael Monaco, I mean, he was capturing my life, you know, and, and there was the challenges, A, the challenges of trying to navigate the music business, but then the challenges of all of the loss of some of my siblings and my family members. I mean, we felt like, let's put this thing out. I mean, it's been a tough year for everybody, and if people see um, my challenges and, and um, the things that I've had to kind of go through in life, uh, maybe it'll inspire some people, certainly in these times, to to dust themselves off and keep keep yeah, rocking. Yeah, you certainly have, and they'll if they don't know about it, they'll see uh, the the amount of loss that you have experienced, and uh, and you know what you're what you're doing for your sister's kids and how they're part of your family now, and it's it's great. Yeah, I mean it's, I tell people like when I see, um, you know if you live this life long enough, I mean you're gonna life's gonna get you. I mean you can't. You can't be living this long, beautiful life without some ups and downs and challenges, and we've certainly had those. And, and I think this documentary, documentary really shows uh, just the struggles and stuff that you, have to, that you have to deal with from time to time. You know what you don't address, which I was hoping you'd address in the documentary, is being the father of Marin Morris's <laughs> child. I mean, why don't you talk about that? So I'm having coffee, <laughs> and my mother calls me, and she goes... I'm sitting here reading some gossip thing, which I don't know how she subscribes to an online gossip thing anyway. <laughs> and then I was even, she goes, it says you're Marin Morris, you fathered Marin Morris's child. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I do not need this today. <laughs> so my current single that's out now, Waves, was written by Marin's husband, Ryan Hurd. And I, sh I shared it from my mother straight to Ryan. And I said, buddy, I think we need to talk. I, you know, <laughs> but I'm not. You are not. I am not no. the father. We can call Mari Povich in or however y'all want to go about no, it. We have the test here. We're going to give it backstage. <laughs> uh, all right, Luke, thank you for being here. Luke's deluxe album, Born Here, Live Here, Die Here, is available on streaming services now. He's sharing a song with us when we come back. Luke Bryan, everybody. Love y'all. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,